Alright everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bean Turtle, and today I'm going to start a series that um, is going to be a little bit different from what I've been doing so far with War Thunder, but also kind of along the same vein that I have been doing for a while, which is I like making guides for things. Um, I don't know everything, but what little things that I do know, um, I would love to pass on to other people. So, the first thing that I'm going to uh, do, the first guide I'm going to do, is going to be on uh, range finding. Not like literal range finding, like uh, looking at a target, hitting the range find button and getting a number, uh, but kind of the range finding that you see uh, the players who really, really know what they're doing, where um, they'll just look at you with their like World War II tank or whatever and shoot you from what feels like three, four hundred miles away. I'm going to kind of try to explain how they do that and how I do that. So first of all, uh, what uh, some of it, and this is like the most annoying possible thing, and what's funny about this clip is that I completely missed that shot because I was distracted trying to talk the first time. Uh, but um, the uh, it takes practice sometimes, um, but there are some things that you can do to mitigate the need for quote practice or you know uh, physically like like just playing the game a ridiculous amount. You, there are things you can do that um, make the world easier to look at. Uh, and so I'm going to show you throughout this video a couple of uh, clips from various different games I've played over the last, uh, honestly, year or two even. Um, if I look at my clips library, some of them are pretty old, where I've used tanks that do not have range fingers. Um, and like right there, that's really kind of funny. I had that range, he was dead to rights, but, um, and you even see the round fire out of my gun, but due to latency, he shot my gunner first, and the final, so the round was never fired. That's what happened there. Um, kind of funny, I was a little confused in what happened to me there, but um, I'm going to teach you kind of how to do that, if not reflexively, at least uh, strategically. So the first thing that I want you guys to uh, see and bind, actually it's two things, um, are in the settings. So if we go over here, not those settings, wait, to controls, um, I am of course a PC player, so I think controller players, as in Xbox players, that kind of thing, can bind these into options as well. Um, it's just a little bit more complicated, so I'm going to focus on uh, mouse, because honestly I have no, no experience on controller, I'm sorry about that. First thing is squadron, um, I, I, wanna, I don't quite remember what it's called in the game, but it is the squadron sc scouting, or squadron um, crosshair, and it is a special little uh, button that allows you to put a uh, little yellow line, a little yellow arrow, on the map somewhere for your squad mates. I don't think it's visible for everyone, I think it's visible just for your squad mates, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But it's definitely visible to you, and it stays stationary for a good few seconds. Oh, it's in common, I think. Target for squad. Okay, so right here is called set target for squad, I'm pretty sure, which is bound to T on mine. Now, what that means, uh, T is the uh, multifunction menu by default for saying things like attack the D point and thank you. <laughs> so um, it, what I do is you just hit that button twice uh, and the menu pops up and then it does the target squad, target lock. I do it all the time. I do it in the air. I do it on the ground. It's great for marking targets for strafing runs, that kind of thing. Great for communicating to your friends or your squad mates, but I use it also as a ranging tool. Upon discovering that you cannot use do the target, uh, you cannot set a target for your squad in the firing range, which is really annoying, um, I'm going to have to do this with some clips. So what I will often do with this tank right here, which is one of my favorite tanks in the game, and I think it is the second highest, this is my second highest Silver Lions earner right here, the beautiful T29, is I will look at the distance to a target in relation to the distance to a point. So. What I will do, if you look at the map of um, this right here, is that I will uh, use the set squad target point on something that's really far away, I'm talking like super super far away, but also it's way faster than letting the true range find for you. I will put the yellow dot on the thing, look at the mini map, and guess based on the distance to uh, the point that's closest to that point, um, and uh, try to take a shot at it. Sometimes you'll be wrong, you'll be off by a little bit. Sometimes you'll nail them first try. like, and, and that's really satisfying. As you get better at this game, you will find that you will make shots that you would have never believed possible, 
without even flinching. Like you'll just like flick a shot off to the side, hit a target and you'll be like, whoa, I just did that. <laughs> you know, so um, as you get better, you will um, you will learn how to do this. You will you will be able to do that. Um, and honestly, it makes for some of the most fun moments in this game that you will ever see. Uh, so here is a clip right here of me doing that in practice. Um, I put my uh, target point there. I think, oh, maybe it's about, um, it's just a slightly larger distance or a slightly shorter distance than it is to the point. Um, and you can do the path, like, you know, you can do your Pythagorean theorem and stuff to do the math. Uh, but usually I just kind of estimate it. Maybe as you um, are going, you want to find a tank that you find to be a consistent experience or um, something that you are good with, that you like, that you can learn to become second nature. Um, for Again, for me, as, a, as I said earlier, the T-29 is that tank for me. I love this thing, and it is essentially... Um, well, sometimes I'll have off days, but effectively it is second nature to me in terms of where rounds will be, um, because it is pretty darn good at doing things. So, like for instance, this tank right here, pretty sure this is 600, might be wrong. It'd be really funny if it was, but no, see, right on the money. Um, and I kind of know from a visual distance point of view, um, I kind of know that panther is like right at about 600 meters. Um, that tiger, a bit farther, I'm not quite as sure, I'm being serious, but maybe it's 800, maybe it's like here, I don't know, I'll take a guess shot. Um, I was right. Um, right. So, um, you know, as you uh, get better at this over time, you will uh, guess or learn to uh, kind of guess based on what you know. And if you, you know, turn corners, see a guy, you're like, oh no, there's a panther right there, maybe I can just snapshot it. Um, I didn't know I could front plate that, I'm going to be honest. Um, but, um, and I actually missed what I was aiming for. I was aiming for the turret mantlet, but that was close enough, right? Um, and so overall, you will learn um, as uh, how to do that. But that comes with practice. Um, what you uh, can do that is much easier, though, is to do that or do a tiny bit of math. An alternative way is, of course, to do a little bit of math with triangles. If you look at the bottom of most maps, of course, the firing range map does not have, like, meter indicators, but I bet it's, like, 100 meters or something, or 200, but actually 200. Um, so, like, this one's at 200 meters from more or less where you spawn. Um, this one's about 4, maybe 350. Um, this one we decided was 600, I believe, from that starting location. And then this one was right at 800. Um, so we can guesstimate something like that. Um, I think that's right. No, that's a little high. Some other tanks that I actually recommend, as I put in quotes, learner tanks, um, for, like, you know, the consistency in terms of, um, like, rounds where they're going to go. I really like the, the M4A276, uh, Sherman. Um, it's at, it's got a pretty similarly high velocity gun to the T29, um, and it's just a personal favorite of mine. Um, and it ha it's so it, it's a, it's a good thing to learn with over time. Um, other other good one, you know, everyone's favorite honestly is the Tiger II. Um, it is really really consistent. The gun is very good. The gun is very accurate. It is very forgiving. You don't have to be as perfect um, because most targets will be within about a kilometer anyway. So, you know, it's pretty easy to do that. For the Red Enjoyers, the T-34s are pretty good. Um, most of them have about the same gun, honestly. Their T-34-85 specifically is a good way to uh, learn um, to learn things. And um, if you don't like that one, I also really liked the T-44-100. You got some bias armor, but also the gun's really good and forgiving. I really like the T-34-85 series. They're pretty consistent, pretty accurate. And uh, the last thing that you can do, what I was talking about earlier, when if you really, really want to do math, you can go back to the good old Pythagorean theorem. Uh, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Um, and what you do is, you're, uh, if you're at a weird angle, you try to draw a right triangle um, with your mind and kind of estimate using the range indicator I showed you at the bottom right um, what the distance to that is that can be a little complicated but if you're doing like indirect fire from really long distances that can be much more easy to do than um kind of just straight estimation but uh, anyway thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed found this informative helps this helps you out whatever um i really hope this helps you um learning that little thing has helped me out too um if i stole it from someone and i just don't remember because my mind doesn't remember things sometimes then i'm sorry but um I'm pretty sure that my method is the way I do it.
and that's the way I've done it for quite a while at this point. Um, so um, I hope this helps you out. And um, if it did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more of my videos, I have some recent videos such as a review um, of the Tornado IDS WTD61. Very convenient name that I just put out um, pretty recently. Um, and uh, that is going to be in my play stuff. And I have a playlist for all my War Thunder videos if you're interested in those. So thank you and have a good day.